Next, we're going to look at the gastrocnemius and the soleus muscle. Probably the easiest way to look at the gastroc is to use it when we are assessing the length of the hamstring. If we can get the leg all the way up to 90 degrees, then that's a good sign for the hamstrings. But in terms of the gastrocnemius, we want to try to dorsiflex to 90 degrees. There's a little bind, so we're not quite there at 90 degrees. So it means there is a resistance to the gastroc muscle. If we bend the knee, and then we go further, which we can, then it means that the gastroc was the tight structure rather than the soleus. If it's still tight in this position with the knee bent, then either the soleus muscle is tight or there is a restriction in the ankle joint here, the talocrural joint here. So to try to lengthen the gastroc, what we can do is place the leg over the shoulder and then if I was to hook my fingers around for the demo, I'll use this hand, so from there if I just slowly dorsiflex and then I'd say to my patient slowly push your toes into my finger so she's pushing into plantar flexion for 10 seconds after 10 seconds relax please and on the out breath I slowly encourage dorsiflexion lengthening the gastrocnemius if you find it easier you can bring the leg further up into hip flexion and then from here you can say push your toes towards the ceiling after the 10 seconds, relax, breathe in. And as I breathe out, I can lengthen the gastroc in this position there. If you want to lengthen the soleus, then you can do the same again. We can bend the knee. We can repeat by pushing the toes into my hand. So with the knee bent, it's now working on the plantar flexion for the soleus. After 10 seconds, relax, I can now Lengthen the soleus this way. Or if you look at my MET book, I show it where we cross the leg over my leg and I come in and I dorsiflex the ankle. Can you push your toes into my forearm for 10 seconds? You'll notice that I might not be contracting for 10 seconds a patient because of a demonstration. Breathe in. And as I breathe out, I'm going to slowly dorsiflex to lengthen mainly the soleus. So there you have an MET of gastrocnemius and soleus.